Hey guys, there's been a lot of buzz and controversy in the last couple of days about some new eventing dressage rules from the FEI and the EA. I just wanted to point out a couple of errors that are actually in the manual, particularly under the actions of bit section. So the first error is the comment that a incorrectly fitted single joint bit will affect your horse's palate. This is simply not the case and it's a common misconception with single jointed bits. So people think that the nutcracker action actually refers to the bit cracking your horse up in the palate like this. This can't happen unless you're leading your horse from under the chin. So under normal circumstances, riding position, reins up by your saddle, it's just not, not gonna happen. It actually pushes the mouthpiece down into the horse's tongue. The nutcracker action actually refers to the bit closing up under contact and creating a vice-like effect on the lower jaw or like a nutcracker. So that's that one cleared up there. The second point, which is incorrect, is that a boucher uses mild leverage and works on the pole and the lips. So we know from multiple peer reviewed studies that this is just simply not the case. The boucher actually provides pole relief, which is why when you see people riding in one, you'll quite often see the bridle cheek pieces bowing out under contact because the mouthpiece picks up in the mouth and loosens off at the pole. In, so here's a boucher, hanging cheek, boucher, however you wanna say it, fillet, they are all the same thing. For a bit to have any leverage effect at all, there needs to be a purchase, which is this part here, and a fixed point below the mouthpiece in which to attach the reins to create a lever effect. In the absence of this fixed point below the mouthpiece, it is simply a direct action snaffle. Your rein is going to slip right up to the top of the mouthpiece and just work just like a normal egg butt or a D-ring. There is no leverage or pole pressure from a Bausch snaffle. The, the third part, which I find quite mind boggling, is they have made French links not permitted because they've bundled them into the same group as plate bits. So these can be control plates or Dr. Bristol's. There are two fundamentally different actions and types of bits with this, right? So here we go. This is your standard French link. So it's got a nice smooth little dog bone shape in it and it is fitted vertically in line with the cheek pieces here. So it's got no angle on it and it just, it, I mean, it's old technology, but it's not a harsh bit or a severe bit at all. And it certainly does not create any excess pressure on your horse's tongue. Of course, a lozenge link will be smoother and it's more kind and more modern. Of course, when we know better, we do better. But this is certainly still a very kind bit. Compare that to your Dr. Bristol or, or a control plate bit. And you can actually see this plate is on an angle. So when you actually take contact in a plate bit, it pushes down in the tongue and creates quite a sharp, forceful tongue pressure. So it is a really severe bit and I absolutely believe this should be not permitted in dressage. But the humble French link, so many horses use them. We use them for centuries. Like I said, not the most modern bit, but certainly not harsh or severe in any way. So I'm a little disappointed to see that rule. I'm of course going to write to the FEA, FEI and EA about this as well because I really want to stop the spread of misinformation about bit actions and mechanics, especially coming from that level. So I, it's my journey and my purpose to make bidding as easy and as ethical and comfortable as possible for everybody. And we just can't do that if we're getting misinformation from our head governing bodies. And it's just too hard for people to decide what they need to use, what they can and can't use, um, how bits work. So if, you, if anything that I've said today has resonated with you, I invite you to share this with your peers. Perhaps you could tag people from your local EA office or even the head office or FEI, but share it with your right, fellow riders, club members, state board members, gear checkers, officials, and let's see if we can get some changes made to get the correct information out to the members, which I think at a bare minimum is what you guys deserve. And this is an open letter, an open offer to the FEI and the EA. I am absolutely more than happy to consult with either body on any bitting question or any bitting query or writing any bitting code. I will do this with zero benefit to my business zero benefit to me personally. I just want 
your members to be getting the correct information and be able to use the right bits and the most comfortable bits on their horses. Thanks guys, stay tuned.